Hi everybody, this is Dr. Scott from UpstateTaiChi.com coming to you with mini lesson number two. In our system, we do what's called joint warm-ups. Last time we taught you breathing, and we go through all the big joints of the body. We go through the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, the chest, the waist, the hips, the knees, the ankles. And this can take anywhere from four or five minutes to 10 to 15 minutes, depending on class or the teacher or where you're at. You can do them at home by yourself. But today I want to demonstrate the waist because the waist is very important. We know it comes from our core, right? Our core. And not only do we need to keep it strong, but we need to keep it flexible. Because think about what's running through there. First off, you have your colon here and your intestines. So you're digesting food in that area. Then in the back you have your spinal cord. All the nerves that are controlling the lower part of the body are coming through that waist kidneys are here, okay? The spleen is over here. The liver is here. So this flexibility helps those organs function better. You also have meridians that come down here in Chinese medicine. Okay, you also have major lymphatic, called lymphatic um, vessels running down here. So it's important to keep it flexible. So here are some of the things that we do and teach. First off, simple, bend to the right. It's not just stretching here, but you're also stretching your lungs. You open up the lungs, allow more oxygen into the lungs. Stretch to the left. Two basic exercises. Now, you need to listen to your body. If you feel good, go harder. If you don't feel good, don't do it. Listen to your body, okay? Second one, one that I kind of like, just simple turning. Keep the hands in front, raise the left, I'm going to turn to the right, and raise the left. Back here, turn. Push. You can turn it into a breathing exercise, breathe in. Sure. Next one. We're going to turn the waist. We're going to turn the waist like this. Keep the knees straight. So what we're going to do is improve the flexibility of the waist, but also what's called the quad. The hip bone meets the pelvis. So we're going to straight breathing next one simple remember that point in lesson number one I told you about the Dantian three fingers two three fingers below the navel right here it's our core Move. okay so in Tai Chi we want to teach the body to move from that point to save energy so this next one you've seen a million times I'm just going to turn the arms like a top but I want to move it from here I don't want to just do this from here. Keep the back straight. Breathe. Relax. We all need to relax a little bit right now, don't we? Turn big. Turn small. You can slap the body over the shoulder. Okay, check out the links below, upstatetaichi.com, my teacher Jimmy, greenfieldtaichi.com, air class on Thursday night, goes through all this stuff in detail. Until next time.